What's up everybody, welcome to a new episode of the KTM 250 Rebuild. In the previous episode we installed the cooling system and filled it up with some new fresh coolant. So in case you want to watch that, I will put the link in the upper right corner. And in this episode we're going to place a new filter box or air filter box into the subframe and we're going to place the subframe back onto the bike. So the air filter box consists out of two plastic parts, uh, the front part on which the air inlet to the uh, carburetor is mounted and the rear part that's basically the extension of your rear fender. So these two parts basically fit together like this. And then you can uh, shove it onto the subframe. But before we're going to do that, we need to uh, take the old one apart uh, and we're going to clean the, the subframe and the parts that we need to reuse uh, because we need to reuse some of the, the clips and obviously the, the air inlet and the mud flap and the plastic part which hold the ECU. So we're just going to take it apart and then clean everything. So I'm first going to take the ECU off because I want to clean the plastic part underneath it and I don't want to get any water into the ECU. So first let's take that one off. So now we're going to take this plastic part off. Uh, it's held by uh, four bolts uh, or screws. And then you can just take it off. So now I'm going to take this mud flap off. Also two screws that you can take out with the six millimeter socket. And now we're going to push the air inlet through this front part of the air filter box. Just like that. So first we're going to take these four clips off. Uh, we have two clips that hold your uh, air filter in place and two clips that uh, hold your air filter boxes in place. So one on this side and one on this side. And what you need to do is uh, there is a little arrow on this, uh, this clip and from the other side you can push a, a screwdriver through uh, and then lift it out there. So here you have a little arrow. I hope you can see it. It's pointing forward and we're going to push screwdriver in from this side and then lift it and then the last one you need to take this one out as well otherwise you can get this uh, lip through the air filter box so now we can take this uh, lip out of here and what you need to do is push one side through there and hold it tight. And then from the other side you're just going to uh, lift it up with the screwdriver like this. And then it comes through. So now to take the air filter box off the subframe we only have two bolts and a screw left. So the two bolts on the side of the subframe and one screw that holds the two pieces together. That's the last one. So now that we have the last bolts and screw out, we can slide the air filter box off the subframe. But first we need to uh, push this top part through the subframe. Just push it through far enough and then you can uh, push it through. So now we just need to slide the air filter box over the subframe. 
So we're just going to hold the subframe tight and then uh, wiggle the air filter box. Try to wiggle it off. Let's put uh, a little bit of WD-40 on there. Maybe it slides a little bit easier. Yes, that's it. Let's do the other side as well. That makes it a lot easier. So that side is out. So now that we have the air filter box out of the subframe, we're just going to clean all the parts that we're going to reuse. So the subframe and all the plastic parts that we have here. And then we're going to uh, put uh, everything back together. So now everything is nice and clean again. Uh, I cleaned everything very well with some brushes and some sponges. Um, especially the, the inlet uh, in these uh, edges. So that everything is nice and fresh again. Um, so now that everything is clean we can uh, start building it up again. And we're going to start by uh, putting the air filter box together and sliding it over the, over the subframe. So first we need to put these two pieces together otherwise we can't uh, slide it over the subframe. Um, so it needs to be in this edge and this lip needs to go through here so we're just going to slide it in there and push it down just like that the hole for the subframe is nicely aligned and then I believe that it's best to leave these two a little bit apart uh, that's how we got the old one uh, out so let's just see if we can uh, slide it in there. So first the right side goes in a little bit. We need to line it up. So we just need to wiggle it around and keep some pressure on it. And as you can see the other side is starting to go in the right spot as well so we're just going to keep pressure on the right side and try to work it through let's see there we go let's see if we can push the other side now we need to go this side again and the nice thing is that it's a little bit worn down so you can see how far it needs to go on there and of course the, the bolts need to line up as well. Almost there. That's it I believe. So now on the bottom sides they are both in place. You can see that the bolts are lining up. But now, now we only need to put this part inside of the subframe. Just like that. So now it's completely in place. So now we're going to put the bolts and the screw in. Uh, so first we're going to put this screw in that will push these two pieces together then we will make sure that it's completely tight in there push the pieces together and then we're going to place the two bolts on the side now we'll just tighten them with the KTM tool
So now we're going to put these clips back in place. First we'll push this one in. And the hollow side needs to be pointed towards the hole of the, of the air filter. So we can just push it through. And then these clips are asymmetrical. And they have a pointed side on this side. That's the side where the arrow points to. So we're just going to make sure that we push this pointy side uh, in the hole first and then we can just push it completely through. So we're going to push it through and then uh, with a little bit of help of screwdriver we can uh, push it completely in like so. Then you can see that's completely true. Now let's do this one. This one without a screwdriver. And then the last one. So now all four are in again. Now we can put the inlet back inside. So just push it into the bottom corner. So make sure that it's all the way in all the edges the clamp to uh, connect it to the carburetor needs to be uh, faced upward or the screw of the clamp needs to be upward and pointing to the left side of the bike. So now let's place the mud flap back. What that does, it uh, pulls the two pieces of the air filter box together as well. And then you can see there was a little uh, gap in between those two points and now it's completely together. So that's good. Now we can place this plastic holder. It needs to go underneath here. And then we can snap it into place. The lip in the front needs to fall over the subframe. And then we can uh, put the four screws back in place. Like that. And the last piece is the ECU. So and that's it. So now that we have the new air filter box in place, we can install the subframe back onto the bike. We need to make sure that the inlet uh, goes uh, correctly onto the carburetor and we're going to tighten only the top two uh, bolts of the subframe with some Loctite because the bottom ones need to be tightened together with the number plates, so the side covers. Uh, and we're only going to put them in there to make sure that it's uh, in the correct spot. So first we're going to take this cloth out of the carburetor and then we're going to place the subframe so we're going to make sure that the mud flap is going in between the swing arm and the and the tire we turn it around a little bit and then we uh, slide it with a little bit of a twist onto the carburetor and then we make sure that the other side slides over the frame on the outside against this notch. So now the inlet is completely over the carburetor. And then we make sure that it goes in between on the top so that it lines up so we can put the bolts in. 
So then we're going to get the top two bolts. We're going to put some Loctite on them. And then the bottom one, I'm only going to put it in place. We're not tightening it because the number plate still needs to be go behind here. The other side as well with some Loctite. And then the bottom one without. So when we're going to place the, the side covers, the number plates, then we're going to tighten them with some Loctite. Now we're going to put the top ones on 35 newton meters. Now the only thing we need to do is make sure the inlet is completely on the carburetor. Then we're going to tighten the, the clamp. So we're going to put the cloth back in here so we don't have any dirt or something else falling in. So now the only thing we need to do is uh, put the connector of the ECU back in place. So just push it straight in there and make sure that it snaps into place. And then we're going to put the tie wrap back into place. Okay. So that was all for this episode. We have a nice new uh, air filter box and we have installed the, the subframe back on the bike. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, so in the next episode we're going to place the, the exhaust back, uh, for that we first need to place the engine mounts back because there is uh, one attachment for the exhaust there and as well uh, attachment here. Um, so we will be placing the, those as well and we're going to place the new tube for the, um, for the power valve ventilation. And after that uh, we're going to place the, the gas tank. So that will be everything for the next uh, episode. So if you don't want to miss the next episode, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. And if you like this content, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And as always, see you next time.